Hey guys, Bodhi here. Welcome to another Friday Night Scammer Destruction, where I get to hijack your mind and fill it with ridiculousness. Tonight we have a couple of short PCH calls, and one long one. These guys really hate when they realize that they get nothing. So sit back and relax, because we're gonna mess with some scammers. Yeah, full of publishers, clear as hell. How are you? I'm not doing too bad. How are you? I am doing lovely, as a matter of fact. Today is extra special. Yeah, it is. It is. It seems like it, it's going to be. All righty. Uh, why is... Do you have a... Is this a cell phone or a landline? That's a cell phone. Give me your landline number. I don't have a landline. This is it. Uh, I, I gave up my landline when I bought, got the cell phone. Who needs two lines? <laughs> I'm only one person. <laughs> and let Hello? Hello? They're cutting out. Yes, hello? Hello, this is Mr. Dave Sayer. From the publisher Clear and House. How are you doing today? Oh, Mr. Sayer, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing pretty fine. Good. And uh, what is that in the background? What? Gordon? What do you talk? What do you mean? I'm I'm hearing a static in the background. A static? No, maybe we got a bad connection. Okay, and how are you doing today? Is this the first time you're receiving a call? Hello. Yes, how are you? How are you doing? I'm hearing a really bad stat. Okay, is this your cell phone? Uh, okay, hello, is it? Hello? Hello? Is it, is this is this your cell phone or it's your landline? It's my cell phone. Is that any better? I think that now I don't have it. Yes, that is much more better. Okay. I can I can hear you pretty good now. All right, okay, good. All right, so and uh, did you get a claims number from Miss Deborah Holland? Uh, yes, it was a four, the four seven one one. Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Now I would love for you to get a clean sheet of paper and a pen, okay? All right, okay. Let me see. Here. All right. I one here. I already had one. I'll just open and. Yeah, okay. This is, this is good. This is good. All right. Okay, so what, okay. what do I need? Now, are you sitting down or you're standing? Because what I'm about to tell you is pretty shocking and unbelievable. So I hope what? you're sitting down right now. Did somebody die? All righty. No. no. Now, uh, you're going to write down so my name. Only, That's Mr. Sayer. news Sayer. I get is when somebody dies. Uh, Sayer. Who died? Well, my husband did a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. I'm my condolences. And do you live alone right now? Yes, yeah. Okay, ma'am. And do you still drive and so forth? I d I d I, d I don't drive. I have a license, but my my vehicle right now I don't drive. No. Okay, your vehicle. What is I wrong have, with it? It's not in good. It's, it's not, not in a, good condition. It's, it's, they didn't. They, I didn't get the uh, the safety inspection thing where they do this the safety uh, uh, for it. Oh, yeah, you need to get okay. a sticker, and uh, it didn't pass this time because I mean it's it. I just uh, I, I don't. I'm not a mechanic or anything, but the things fell into disrepair, and then uh, and now it's it's just not. It, it's not good to go on the road now. They don't want it on the road. I still have a license. I can, and when I get this money, I'll probably purchase a new car. But uh, at the moment, I don't. I don't have a, a means to drive. I do drive. But I, I just, understand. I don't have my vehicle. It's, it's in the garage right now. And so. okay, I understand you. Well, I need you to write down what you have won because. You have also won yourself a brand new car from this company, oh, so I? you won't have to oh, buy well, a new how car. How serendipitous! How serendipitous is that? Goodness gracious! Uh, I, am, I feel so blessed today. I've been worrying about that okay, for the last then. month. Is my transportation because I don't have a, a, a reliable way to get anywhere. If I need to go somewhere, I need to get my nephew uh, or my my uh, niece to. To drive me, but that takes so so long. Now I, I have a okay, I have I a son. I have a son, but he doesn't even live in in the uh, in the state. He he lives up he lives up in uh, uh, okay in, in Pennsylvania. So I understand. Uh, I'm hearing you. And also, do you still use the computer? Oh, I do. Yes, that's how I I keep uh, in contact with my my. Uh, my son, uh, and I keep in contact with a lot of my friends up in, uh, 
uh, who are over in New Jersey, and uh, I have I have friends everywhere, all over the uh, the Mid East, and uh, so, so I'm friends down in Texas. Oh, okay, I have some no. Down in Texas, so I I can't travel there anymore. I used to travel a fair bit, but uh, now you know when you get older, you don't. It, it takes a lot more to. Uh, to go short distances, you need to plan a lot more. So it's it's a lot harder to plan for things now. So uh, it's easier to uh, get online and we'll play uh, some Parcheesi and Crib uh, and whatnot online sometimes, different uh, friends of mine. Or just uh, send emails back and forth. So that's uh, uh, how we uh, keep in contact now. So yes, I am on the computer. I do have. Uh, okay, I, I need your email that address. I, that I'll, I'll sit there for sometimes a lot longer than I should. <laughs> sometimes I'll be there too. Three what is hours your What is your TV. What is your eyes. email? That's not good for your eyes when you're staring at a screen for that long. Yeah. What? Can you hear me? What's that? Uh, what is your email address, hun? Oh, it's a it's a long one. It's willy nilly. W i l l y. Hold on. Yeah. Spell it out. W I L L Y. Yes. N I L L Y. N is in Nancy. N I L L Y. Yes. Frank. F R A N K. Yes. And Beans. A N D B E A N S. So it's willy nilly Frank and Beans at gmail dot com. Okay. All righty. Pretty good. Now you're gonna write down what you want, okay? Yeah, you right. want yourself seven thousand dollars every week for life. Oh my goodness, that is seven thousand a week. That oh my goodness, <laughs> that's a yes, that's ma'am. A, I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend all of that. That's a lot of money. I'm sure I can figure that it out. A, I'll have to wait two weeks to uh, to get you know uh, to purchase something large. My like seven thousand a week. That's where it's twenty eight thousand a month. My goodness. Yes, ma'am. That's that's and you will also good, be with receiving... What? Uh, there's more. Yes, ma'am. There's more. <laughs> Remember, you won yourself a brand new 2022 oh, yes. Mercedes Benz. Oh, I need you to write goodness. that down. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Mercedes Benz. Yes, that is, ma'am. That is luxury. That is oh. oh. <laughs> and also 18.5 million dollars. 18.5 That's a certified mil- check. <laughs> That is right. You have what won the seed stake here, my oh, friend. Oh, 18. C- calm down. Calm down, honey. You won yourself. 18. Oh, 18.5 oh, million. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh. That is right. Write it on the piece of 18. paper. 18.5 million. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I got choked up there for a moment. Oh. Okay. Now, uh, oh. go and get a glass of water and, and head back 7, to the phone. That's more than 7,000 car. Yes, honey, that's right. Oh. Now, uh, can you hear me? Oh. Can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Hello, can yes. you hear me? Yes, it yes, sounds really I'm here. far away. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. I feel light. I need you to go and get yourself. I... Oh, get a what? Hello? Where'd you go? Hello? One get eight man. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Now, as I was saying, I need you to get yourself your last bank statement in your position. Okay. In my position, I don't know what you mean. Where is your? Do you have a bank statement you get from your bank? No, I don't have a bank statement. I know what's in my bank though. Okay, and how how much was in your account when you checked it the last time? Because we don't want what we're sending to be mixed up with what you already have in there. So how much is there when you checked it the last time? Well, I, I know that in my checking account, I have about $1,200. And then in my savings, I have closer to uh, 65000 $65 in 60, the savings? No, 65000 I, sh- I I can move the, the 1200 I can move the, the, the money from the checking into my savings. I can move that into there, and then, I, then there will be just... Uh, the checking will be open, and you can send it to the checking. That is right. 
and you said uh you have six to five thousand in the savings account yes yeah okay and what is the name of the bank you bank with i bank with bank of america you bank with bank of america that is yes, pretty yeah. wonderful yeah. now do you know the the account number for this the check-ins account I don't offhand, but I, I can I could probably find it out. Okay, I'm here on the line. Tell me if you can find a checkbook or a statement or something, okay? All right, just give me a few moments. Okay. Are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I can. You can hear me? Okay. Right. Yes, I have. Yes, I, I can hear you. you can Did hear, you can got you hear me? Recorded? Hello? Yes, I can. Okay. Are you there? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, all right. I have I have my information all here. I'm not all righty. Now, I'm not what sure is the account on, number? I'm not sure which is the account number and which is the, uh, uh, because it's on, a, on an old check, so. All right, and what are you looking on? I'm looking at on an old check. The number's at the bottom of the on check. An old check. All right, hold on. I'm going to let you speak with Frank Moss, okay? Frank Moss? Who's that? He's going to he's going to he's going to he's you're going to provide him with the account number and all the information, okay? All right. All right. So hold on the line for transfer. That's okay. Mr. Frank Moss. Frank Moss, okay. Hello. Hello, Mr. Blog. Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm doing good. Yes, are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. Right. This is Mr. So Blog. Mr. Moss. Moss, okay, I'm sorry. Not, okay. All right, and do you have the information there? Yes, I do, yes. All right, provide me with the account number. Well, I don't know which is the account number. It's just a big, long number on the check. Okay, what the, what what bank is the check? It's with Bank of America. Bank of America. So that's the nine-digit number on the left side. Look for it. It's on the bottom. It's two numbers. It's a routing number and an account number. All right. Well, the first number is zero two one zero 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 three two two. Zero 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 four nine one three four one two one one, and then there's zero zero Is that three the four. On the check? That's the number on the check. Yes. Yeah. So it's zero two one zero 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 three two two. Yes. Yeah. All right. And, and, zero, what's, zero, and what's the zero. routing number? It's then then it's, it's zero, three zero zero yeah three zeros four nine one three four one two one one and then so there's zero zero, zero, zero three four. Four nine, hold on that zero 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 four nine one three four one two one one so that's two one one right yes yeah then zero zero three Repeat four that number. no that that is a check number. The number okay. that that's the check number. Okay. Repeat back over the uh, the triple zero number. Zero 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 four nine one three four nine two one one. All right, no problem. And do you have the debit card there as well? I don't have one. No. You don't have a debit card no, for the Bank no. of America. I don't because my. Uh, I had my my purse stolen about six months ago, and I never got one back yet. I've gotten everything right, else. No I've gotten my and, uh, is... license back. I even got my library card back. I didn't get my. I didn't get my dip. Oh my God! Why is it so loud in my ears? Oh. All right. And what is your social security number? It's two three five two five one zero one five. Why do you ask a, for a number and then say, hold so on, goodness? Yes, no, you was going too fast. Oh, you said 235-251015. Hold on, you're breaking up. You said 235-251015. Two, three, five. Two, five, one, five. So 235 and then you have 55? Five, five? No, no I, I don't really feel comfortable you yelling my social security number out over the phone when I hear all kinds of people in the background having fun. 
No, this is a recorded line, ma'am. You don't have nothing to worry about. I I'm do, just because you're, you're, no, what you this, said that's, because no, that's personal. That's a personal privacy breach. What you're doing there, Bucko? You don't understand that, ma'am? I'm, no, I'm don't in you, the don't office. Don't ma'am me. Don't I'm ma'am in me. The yes, office. and it sounds like you have a bunch of ruffians in the background on break or something. So don't be yelling my social security number out. I have that right. That's personal right, information. So we, you don't need so to be yelling it back, back to me. I will say it if you keep repeating it. I'm not giving it to you. It's two three five two five one zero one five. All right. And what is your date of birth? April first, nineteen forty nine. Can you repeat it? April first, nineteen forty nine. Okay. And you said this was the Bank of America, right? Yes. Yeah. And do you have a PIN number for that account? Well, yes, but that's my PIN number. No, we have it. We just need to verify it. What is the yeah, PIN number? Do you think I'm stupid? Who the hell do you think you are calling and asking me for my PIN number? I want to speak with your, your uh, supervisor asking me for my PIN number. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? I am your prize director. Who yeah, the hell well, you think you who are? Do you, you held it. You think you are Bumbaclot, huh? Calling here, telling me that, you, that I need to give you my PIN number. Yeah, right. This is your final notice from the Publishers Clearing House. We are proud to inform you about your first place prize winnings. For information about claiming your prize, please contact our prize patrol office at 917-809-1446. Again, that's 917-809-1446. You will need to provide your winning ID numbers to properly claim your prize. Your winning ID numbers are P C H three five one five zero again that's p c h three five one five zero hello yes, hello. hello hello yeah how are you doing i'm calling about I'm uh, calling about. how yes. are you doing i'm not doing bad i'm calling in regards to a message i received uh, all right you're talking you're talking to let me call him up you're talking to david saw your from the publisher's clearing house do you have your claim number uh, yes it's a, a pch three five one five zero all right and can you hello yeah can you hear me yes now yeah. hello yes well yeah can you please state your name for me yes it's linda Last name and Lillehammer. All right, Mrs. Linda, can you hold on for me? Can you give yes, me? A, yes. Can you just hold on for me on the line? Of course, of course. Okay. All right, Mrs. Linda, may I ask you when did you receive your notification from my company? Uh, it had to have been in the last twenty-four hours. I I just checked the machine. All right, because I can't really hear you right now. The phone is very low. So may I yeah. may I hang up and yeah. hold you is back? That, is that better? Pardon? Is that better? Yeah, it's that, yeah, that is better. That's better. Okay. All right. Okay. So the reason of my call, Mrs. Mary, is uh, sorry. You said what is your name again? It's Linda. Linda. Hammer. I'm so sorry. All right, Mrs. Linda. The reason why I'm contacting you is in pertaining to a certified cashier's check that you have won from. The publisher's clearing house. How long have you been playing the publisher's oh clearing house? Well, I've been playing for uh, uh, for for quite some time, actually. Yes, I I have played uh, for many years uh, uh, through the uh, Reader's Digest, through uh, uh, other means of uh, applying online as well. I've I've even done it. So yes, I, I've been a I've been a fan of the uh, of the the, uh, Lottery, the clearing house where 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 see, winners' see. dreams are made. Yeah, I could see. Do you still drive? Oh yes, yeah, I drive. All right, and it seems like you live by yourself. Do you live alone? I do. Yeah. All right. So what I need you to my do husband, get yourself... my husband, my uh, husband, he left me. So your husband left you? Yes. Yeah. He. He. Uh, he. Uh, uh, got remarried with uh, his secretary. Uh, she's 20 oh, years he, younger than him. Oh, he get married with his... You don't have to worry yourself because... Oh, listen, well, oh no, he's you, gonna... He's, it's gonna be a, a kick in the ass now, I, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you my have goodness. A uh, Candy. Here. Her name's Candy. Yeah. yeah that little whore. Uh, Pardon? <laughs> I said that little whore, Candy. Secretary, yeah, sure, yeah, uh, I bet you she was filing all the 
all the papers everywhere. I bet you she was all filing right. things left get and right. Yourself, get the yourself. The whole time. The whole time. I, I, I'm at home cooking supper. He's there uh, 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 punching her clock, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <sighs> Get yourself a clean sheet of paper oh, and a yes, good I writing got a, Yes, I got a paper here. All right, may yeah, I ask, not, have you ever hold, have you ever hold, have you ever hold a million in your hand before? Have I ever hold, held what in my hand? Have you ever seen a million dollars for yourself before? N- no, no, <laughs> no. Okay, no. because what happened is you have won millions of dollars here. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, Jeremiah is going to be shitting bricks. <laughs> All right. And he said, do you have any, what kind, what and do you do screw that whore candy. <laughs> yeah, what? What, you, what you do used to do for a living? I used to uh, work with Raytheon, a defense All contractor. Right. Oh, oh, okay. All right. And do you have any form of investment? Uh, no, no, not, not really investments per se. Oh, oh, you have something, but it's not investment, correct? No, no. And what is, what is it called? Well, I, I have money uh, put away. Oh, like uh, an IRA account or so? Uh, no, no, no. Something a little okay, more, more right. secure in my in my opinion. All right. Okay. No problem. Uh, because listen, the first well, thing I, I wouldn't put like it into right. any kind of inv- uh, dig- digital investments like that. That's no, no. That's that's not my style. I don't like that kind of stuff. Oh, you just put away your money, like in a safe or something. Well, I have. Yeah, it's all under my under my bed, under my mattress. Oh, you have a safe uh, under your bed. No, I just put the cash under my mattress. Oh, 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 okay. It's just laying so under what is the, what is the thing? What is the first thing you think you will do? Because listen, you have won eighteen point five million dollars from the public. Eighteen point five! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this. Oh. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm going for a, a trip around the world. First thing, first thing. That's where I'm going. I'm going on a cruise oh around God. the world. I'm getting on a boat. Yeah, and just that you, relaxing for for two months. Yeah, yeah. You know that that is my dream. Always my dream to to go everywhere in the world. Yes, yes. All right. So the first thing I would like you to write down is my name. That is David Sawyer. Write it down. David. Sawyer. You got it? David and, and <laughs> Sawyer like like soy sauce? Yeah, Sawyer. S-A-W-Y-E-R. Oh, okay. Okay? All right. All right, and you have won yourself 18.5 million <laughs> U.S. dollars. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my Try goodness. Try What's that? I'm Write just, it I'm down. Ex- I'm ex- I did. I have already written that down, yes. All right. Uh, and you're, you're supposed to have I don't know what thousand. I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, my God. You know you could do whatever. You could help out the charity. You could just help out the charity or help yeah. out the church or something when you receive I, it. I've always wanted to. No, no, I, don't. I couldn't do that. Pardon? Uh, no, you, just... could, you could explain. You could explain to me. You don't yeah. have to pull back anything. Yeah, I'm here yeah. to reason with you. You remind yeah. me of my mom. <laughs> While I'm talking I, well, to I've, you, I've right always. Now, I mean, it's a lot of money. So I, I mean, I've always wanted to to like like uh, uh, bite somebody's uh, pinky finger off. Oh, you like to bite someone's pinky finger off? Yes, like I've always uh, thought about just I'm just going I'm. You know, I don't know, biting it off, but no, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money, though. I'm thinking, I think there's got to be somebody out there who would take a million for, so why, for it. Why you would like to bite someone? I don't know. Off. It's it's just an urge I've got. I don't that, know. That's your that's your desire. Uh, that's it's just when when I'm thinking of if I have all kinds of money. I mean that that did come to mind. So I, I don't. I mean, there's other things that come to mind too. But I mean. <laughs> Like, I, I would like to... No, no, no. I'm not going to start getting into all of my, my strange uh, uh, <laughs> things that I've thought about in my life. You said you still drive, right? Yes, yeah. All right, okay, okay. So... I want to take dogs for a walk. I want to take a whole bunch of dogs for a walk. Oh, you want to take a dog? Yes. Oh, do you, yeah. have, do you yeah. have dogs? Do you have well, dogs? Well, no, no. I don't want them really to be dogs. I want them kind of to be... 
Men dressed up as dogs. You want them to be a man, man dressed up as dog? And then I take them for a walk like they're dogs. I mean, that that's not, I don't think that's that strange, is it? Oh, I mean, oh, because the way how they I, s- treat I see this stuff, I see this stuff on, on I seen it on, uh, I think it was, uh, it was one of the talk shows uh, that they, uh, but they do it more for humiliation. I just think that it's very cute. Yeah, I understand because what happened is they, they, you doesn't like how they treat you. Do you have any kids with your husband? No, 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 no kids. No. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, All right. I was pregnant so four I... times, but. Oh my God! What I wanted to say, the good Lord opened this gate here for you, so. What I wanted to know, how would you like your delivery to take place for you today? Would you like it to be private and confidential on the headline news or in the newspaper? Well, I just want you to tell me when it is so I can uh, I can get uh, Jeremiah to come over. I'll say that I have something of his that he forgot to take and then he can meet me here and you meet me at the same time and you can give it to me and I'll win it right in front of him. <laughs> That would be, oh. oh my goodness, I you can see the look on his face, that little dipshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that little son. And now, Candy, listen. that whore, if she's there, she can, she can wallow in it too, <laughs> the little bitch. <laughs> candy ass. Yeah. Whore. All right. Oh, goodness. And listen, but yes, for, now, you're gonna, for now, you're going to keep this private, okay? I can't, so I can't tell him. For can I, now, can I gonna... even allude to the fact? No, you're not going to say nothing to them till when you receive this. Promise me that you're not going to say a word. I, I really, I mean that. I mean, like, gonna o- other than bagel? other than other other than like being able to do the things that I, I've never uh, been able to do, you know, like the the pinky finger thing. I, I don't really. The only reason I would want this money is to be able to rub it in that bastard's face. I have enough money for. I I don't have any need right now. Yeah. So about how much you think that you have under your mattress at this moment? Oh goodness, that's probably. Oh, I don't know. You think you have there, more there's... than a hundred thousand? Yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I, I dig if I dig down, I've been saving that for for, for so long. If I dig down uh, uh, deep enough into the pile, I get into some Confederate dollars. So oh, that's how uh, long that's okay. how long I've been I've been. All uh, right. Saving and you it said for. that is right under your mattress. Right under my mattress. Yeah. All right. All right, so listen what I'm going to have you do right now. I need you to just hold on hold on, on the line for me. Don't hang up, okay? All Whatever right. you do, you don't hang up. All right. All right, can you do that for me? Yes, yeah. All right, my millionaire, hold on. I'm going to show you this today, my millionaire. I'm going to make your delivery today. So you could put your $18.5 million under your mattress also. All right, all right so you said right. he doesn't. He doesn't really use the bank he doesn't have well, maybe, I, maybe I could probably I could probably make a bed out of the money <laughs> 18.5 I just sleep on, right. the, on the money I don't so I'd have you to put a mattress a on top of the, the big bricks of money <laughs> he doesn't use a bank do you use a bank oh, I, he know, doesn't I, I mean I have I have a bank account that uh, I have uh, some money just because I when I retired uh, I had some uh, bonds and and uh, the stocks uh, that uh, uh, stock options from from the company uh, that had to renew and so I do have a so bank you, account with about uh, thirty thousand dollars in it. But all right, you have a bank account for uh, thirty thousand, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, all right, hold on on the line. All right, so uh, what yeah. I wanted to ask. You. What I wanted to ask you today is your big day. Do you have on? Do you have on? Do you have on your nice suit? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I do have some latex on. You have on some night. Do you put on your favorite suit? Remember? Yes, today is yeah. Your big I got day. a nice suit on. Yes. Oh, all right. I have my dominatrix okay. dominatrix suit on. And and what kind of car you drive? I, I drive a LeBaron. Oh, you're driving a LeBaron. Yeah. Oh. And you have one of Mercedes bands right at this oh, moment. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I could probably drive down the strip and pick up some hotties in that. And then I can drive <laughs> Then I can drive by Jeremiah's house and, and beep the horn and be like, look at this little young piece of uh, hotcakes that I picked up. <laughs> you little oh, son of a bitch. You? How's that? How old are you? How old seven- are you? I'm 73. You're 73. You know you... You sound like you're in your in your in your forty. 
Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> well, maybe you'll want to go out for a uh, for a drink with me. <laughs> yeah, I would like to go a drink. Do 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 you have? You said he doesn't have a boyfriend. I don't have a. I don't married either. No. So I don't know if you would like us. Would you like us to uh, go on a date sometime or something? Well, yeah, yes. Anything to to rub it in Jeremiah's face. All right, all right. So you said that you would like to go on a date with me sometime, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So just hold on. Give me five minutes now. Okay. All right. Oh, that little son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, he is going to hate this. Uh, hello? Are you there? Hello? Oh my goodness, hello. Oh. Hello? Mr. Sawyer? Mr. Sawyer? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. All right, hold on on the line for me, okay? All right. All right, sweetheart. And how are you feeling at this moment? You know that you're locked in here at my company. I, I really need to urinate. Actually, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pee my pants. I think <laughs> all of this excitement. Oh my goodness. Oh, I I think I need to put the phone down and and, and uh, maybe I just give me a, a quick moment. Oh, I'm gonna. Or I'm gonna pee my pants, seriously. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, the excitement has just got my bladder all, all in a in a bind and a twist. So it's <laughs> it's trying to wring me out. <laughs> so so uh, okay. just give me, is there something I need to do immediately, like right now, or can I can I just yeah, go I could, go take a piddle? Imagine, yeah, I could imagine how you feel right now. So just do what. Uh, uh, the phone. I'm on the um, okay. Yeah. No, oh, never, never that. mind. Never mind. Never mind. No, you don't have to say that. If you need to go and do something, you could do whatever yeah, you like. To do. It's too late now. Okay. Is it, what what do right, I need to do? Okay, is it, what, do? What do I need to do? Do you remember how much money you have won? Did you write it down? Yes, eighteen point five yes, million dollars. Oh, <laughs> All right. And do you know what is the one percentage of the tax? Uh, of your eighteen point five million. No, I, I would have no idea. No, I, I don't I work for the IRS. No I don't work for the IRS. I can, why can I hear myself? All right, so I'm, why can I hear myself? All right. So, do you know that once you're Hello? gonna receive over a hundred? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. I just can, I can hear yes. myself. It's weird. All right. I can hear myself. It's weird. Okay. All right. So just hold on. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you talk to the general head manager. And he could explain General to you manager. what is General supposed to take manager. place here for you. Mm. All right? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. And remember now, we're going to go on a date. Uh, yes. <laughs> I look forward you, to you it. You and me. I look forward to it. You and me. Yes, uh, I'll take you out to yes, there's uh, a nice uh, restaurant. There's a nice uh, restaurant. Uh, just up in, uh, just up up in, in Greenville there. So I'll Greenville there. So do I'll you like stop. Italian food? Do you like Italian food? Yeah, I like Italian food. All right, well, you'll love this place. All right, well, you'll love this place. Yeah. I hope your husband can see us. the best Italian yeah. neck pies. The best neck Italian neck neck pies. I hope your husband, I hope your husband could see Boda. You see Boda? Who? Is Boda? Who? I hope your husband could see both of us when oh, we're going out, when yeah. we're on a oh, date. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that son of a bitch. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Pardon? That little son of a bitch. That, that Jeremiah. Son of a bitch. That Jeremiah. Oh, so you said Mr. Jeremiah, uh, he married to your uh, secretary? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Oh. All right. I'm so he's, sorry he's like to hear that. Like 25 years younger than him. 25 years younger than him. Yeah, but uh, you could see that you don't have to worry yourself about Jeremiah because you could see that the good Lord do something very nice for you. All right. Oh yes. yes so you yes. just have to work on yourself now and uh, leave Jeremiah alone. Oh no 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 no. You could no, just have just to show. Beginning. You just have to show. Each pardon. No, I have the money now. I'm going to no, be screwed looking for the rest of his life. Looking for the rest of his life. Okay, and you said you think you have more than a hundred thousand under your mattress, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. You have it in cash. Well, I know. I know. I put about a uh, hundred and ten uh, when, when we divorced. When, when we divorced because I got. Uh, I got the, we had a. Uh, we had a, uh, a, 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 a savings account. A saving it's hard account. to talk when I hear myself. It's hard to talk when I hear myself. Oh, oh! I'm so sorry. 
Oh, so about now you think you have more than a hundred and ten, correct? Well, I put I put in a hundred and ten, and I had already been saving, so I, I don't know. It's oh, all you a were... mess. It's a mess. It, it takes. I don't. I don't. Oh, uh, okay. it's, I mean, you're you're you have, have to, to um, organize it and uh, like, you organize. Know, make it all straight and everything, but it's all in a pile and all spread out. Oh, it's cash. It's in cash. Yes, yeah. Sometimes my kitty will will play. Uh, he'll be batting around a a hundred dollar bill. Like, where'd you get that? I mean, I'll put it back under the mattress. Oh, oh, oh. I see. So you said before you put. I know it's not the best way to keep your money, and it's probably not the most uh, the safest or well, you don't really most like the bank. to invest it. But I don't like the bank. So. Yeah, you you don't really like the bank, correct? Yes, I only use them because, I, 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 because you, you sort of have to. You, you sort of I, have to. I own my home, yeah. and, and there are different things that uh, different you have to pay for. That, uh, you have to pay for. They don't like to yeah, take so a whole bunch of uh, bills of, uh, if you need bills. to spend ten thousand dollars on something. That, say I needed uh, my roof say done or something. Oh, 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 so do you have any part? Do you have any business? Do you have a business? No, no. No, no. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm going to have you transfer over now to the general head manager, okay? All right, okay. He's in charge of all the head there? Yeah. So you will explain to you what what is supposed to take place, okay? All right, all right. All right. Yes, hello, a pleasant good morning to you. You're yes. speaking to Jonathan yes. Myers. How are you doing today? Jonathan, yes, I'm doing great. Jonathan, How are yes, you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's a splendid morning, and I'm feeling great to know that uh, I'm speaking to one of my future millionaires this morning. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I'm just ecstatic. And for how long now have you been playing the sweepstakes with uh, Publishers Clearing Out? Oh, for, for quite some time. I mean, I, I don't know if you... Uh, I haven't gotten the uh, Reader's Digest in quite a long time, but I, I, I used to uh, do it through there, but I've done it online as well. So. Oh, okay. And would this be your first time winning anything from Publishers Clearinghouse? Yeah. Oh, yes. I haven't won yeah, anything. Yes, no, I haven't, I haven't won, won anything. anything. No, I haven't won anything. Oh. Well, it must be a great feeling knowing that you are actually the winner of eighteen and a half million dollars. Yes. Yes. Uh, let me ask you All something. Right, so how, how, how attached are you to your, your pinky you finger? Your, your pinky finger. Well, I'm very attached as it's connected okay. to my body. <laughs> do, you, do you mind if you it mind stays that way? Or stay? Well, most definitely. No? All right. <laughs> Just All throwing right. that out there. Just throwing that out there. All right. So, uh, as you know, in the United States, <laughs> when anyone is <laughs> receiving <laughs> over... <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. You know that taxes will be charged, correct? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. That damn yeah, IRS. Yeah, that damn IRS. They were always right, a bane so of my existence. You know, I made existence. twice as much as I actually made in my life. Oh. Yeah. It was all okay. paid in taxes. It was that's all why. paid in taxes. That's why. Right. Well, now you have the opportunity of receiving a cashier's check tax-free. Tax free. Because oh, all you shit ha- balls. Yeah. Shit yeah, that no, I don't believe that. This is just this is this well, is all fake. This is all fake. Well, this is a prank. You're gonna see for yourself. <laughs> no Not a prank a, at all. Because no listen, is no tax. <laughs> my company, we have already taken care of 99 percentage of your taxes and insurance towards this already for you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the oh, only goodness. thing. That's remained in, that's just a small one percentage, which yeah. that is just a drop yeah. into the ocean to what you will be receiving. And this one percentage, it's only for $185,000. Well, I mean, that's not and really. I mean, that's not really. I mean, if you were saying, yeah, I mean, if you were saying a drop in the cup, then yeah, the cup, but not a yeah, drop in the ocean. Not that's, not that's not a good analogy. That's not a good analogy. <laughs> one out of a hundred. Well, one out of a hundred. A drop in the ocean. Show you is how probably a quadrillion probably drops a in the ocean. Drops in the ocean. Right. Well, just to show you it's how small analogy. of a drop that is. So I need for you to write that down for me, please. 
Oh, what? The analogy? Oh, what? No, that the was analogy? horrible. No, that was horrible. No, one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Drop in the cup, maybe. Drop, do what? No. Drop, do what? I'm talking about the taxes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna write it down. One hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. One hundred. Eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand. All right. So that is the that is the taxable amount for your one percentage. That you're supposed to well, be I mean, taking I, I care only of. Have, uh, I only have about uh, thirty thousand in the bank. Thirty thousand in the bank. Right. That's oh. So you think you have about thousand in the bank? I only have about thirty thousand. I only have about thirty thousand. Okay. <clears throat> so what about what you said you had under the mattress? Do I need to count out another hundred and fifty thousand? Another hundred and fifty thousand. And what am I going to do with it? And what am I going to do with it? But you say you think you have a hundred and fifty thousand under your mattress, or oh, you? Oh yes, I have. I have oh, yes, that there, but I, 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 you know how long that's going to take me to count out? Going to take me to count out? Oh my goodness! So it's going to take me a good day and a half. Do you have it all in? Hundred dollar bills or no, no, it it's in fives and tens and twenties and hundreds and fifties. Everything. Everything. Oh, okay. You have it all changed up. All right. What I want for you to do. Yeah, just a second up. There is a, a, oh, there is a government golden seal stamp that is supposed to be stamped on your check, and that government golden seal stamp that's. For yeah, just just one second. I, I have a I have another call coming. In. Just give me just one one quick moment. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we got disconnected. Oh, you, oh, you hung up. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do here now, like I was explaining to you, yeah. there is a government golden seal stamp, yeah. which is gonna be stamped on your check. At the top left hand corner, that's a gold seal to show that your check is 100% tax. I'm gonna get free. a human buffet. I'm gonna get a human buffet. I don't know how much they cost, but. Have you ever seen without them? That, Have you ever seen them? They, they take the person and they lay there and they put the food on their naked body and then the people just eat the food off the person's naked body. You ever see that? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah, I want to do that. Oh. <laughs> I want to do that. I'm going to I'm going to have exactly? I'm going to have a party where 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 we have that. I'm 73. Oh, oh you're going to have a party where I'm going to have, have a party, that? yeah, where we have that, yes. Oh, okay. All right, so here's what I want for you to do. All right. I want for you to count out $30,000 from your mattress. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. Okay, what am I going to do with that? Take your time. Take, take your my time. time. Well, I'm going to have to hang up. It's going to take me probably an hour. No, you're not going to hang up. Just lay the phone down. I'm going to be on the phone line, okay? I'm going to hang up, and I'm gonna, I'll count it out. I don't, want you, I don't want you hearing where my... Where my uh, savings are. <laughs> you, you could be one of them bat people where you just make little clicks and you can see everything. No, not at all. <laughs> hey, hey they, people do that, you know. There's people that have, they, they're like bats and they do a and they click and they can, they can see things with the, with the sound. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is true. So, but okay, I'll I'll just put the phone down. I'm just I'm just yeah, just I'm just being ridiculous. I'm not I'm not actually serious. All right, I'll put the phone down. Okay. Just give me a... But it's going to take me a, a, quite a bit. I'm not very good at counting, and I have to count not a out. Problem. I count out piles of one hundred. So I'm gonna. Ha it's going to take. Oh my goodness! It's going to take time. forever. I'm on the line. Oh my goodness! Just take, take your forever. time. I'm on the phone line. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm yeah. here. Yeah. I've gotten about, I got 10,000 counted out. Oh, you count out 10,000 already? Yes. Okay, all right. Let me know when you're finished counting, okay? But that, that was all the, uh, all the, like the hundreds, hundreds and fifties that I could find. Now I have to count some. Oh, so now you're going to go for the twenties and tens and fives? Well, yeah, without digging around, uh, yeah. So. All right, just take your time. All right. <coughs> well, what if we were to do it like right out of doctor's office? You know? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. What if it was right out of doctor's office? They they could put like local anesthetic in. What are you talking about? And and then he then the doctor could just put it right back on. They could sew it right back on. What What are you, you know, talking? Are like, you, are, do you think like somebody would would go for that? Are we still talking about the pinky? 
Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, it seems kind yeah. of barbaric just to ask somebody, can I, can I do that? But if it's, if it's like, organized at a doctor's office or something. Yeah, yeah. Just not, stay focused not... at what you're doing, all right? Well, I'm just, I'm getting excited with all of the, these uh, options that are uh, becoming open to me. The things I could get somebody to do for a million dollars. Okay, back to counting. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, okay. At uh, fifteen. Uh, but can can you t- uh, maybe tell the uh, the uh, uh, the general head manager there that about the uh, the doctor's office idea I had, just in case I change okay. his mind. Okay. You too. You know, I will I, tell I, him. Okay. All right. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yes. All right. Everything's counted out. Okay. You have everything counted out now? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So uh, do you have uh, do you have aluminum tin foil at your home? Aluminum tin foil? Yeah, tin foil or uh, foil yes, wrap. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. Hold on. Well, I would, but... Okay. Can yes. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. You say you have foil wrap at your home? I do. Yeah, I do right here. All right. So the cash that you just take out there, you say you have it in 20s, 50s, 5s, and 10s, and 100s, right? Yes, yeah. So it's, All it's, right. Uh, so here's what you're going to do. It's a pretty do. big stack. You're gonna u- yeah, you're going to use the aluminum tin foil, and you're going to wrap up the cash neat and nice. You're going to wrap it in two different stocks. So you're going to split it in half. Okay. And you're going to wrap it in two different stocks using the well, aluminum they're both, tin They're foil. both going to be about the size of a brick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're going to, there's going to be two bricks of money. Right, right. Yeah. So just wrap it up neat and nice. Let me know all right. when you're finished wrapping it in the aluminum tin foil. Yeah, all right. Okay. 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 Hello? Hello? I'm here. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I have it all wrapped up. I had to wrap it with with some masking tape. I had to uh, put tape around it as well, so it's because it wouldn't oh, stay. So it it wouldn't stay all together. So I had to. Right. I had to right. put a so bunch of tin foil on it, and then I put a whole bunch of uh, uh, masking tape on it, so it's it won't come apart. It's oh. not going to come apart now. Right. That's for sure. So you put the masking tape on the aluminum tin foil, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And you say all together there you have wrapped up two staff yes. uh, amounting to 30,000, correct? Yes, yeah. I don't know how okay, m- what's uh, in each of them. They're not it's not even. Right. Uh, it's right, just right, even right. by size of bills. I just split it in half, so one could have a lot more. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, one no one does no ultimately problem. does have more than the other, so I don't know. Maybe one has twenty, and one only has ten. So I don't know. But right, together, I, it, it, it is thirty. If I, if I mean, I, I am a pretty, uh, uh, pretty good at counting. So okay, that's good to hear. I went, to, I right, went to so school for all all six you, years. What I want to ask you, can you hear me? Yes. What I want to ask you, do you have any? padded envelope at home well this isn't going to fit in an envelope okay you would have you think it would have to fit in a box probably yes yeah okay uh are you familiar with uh fedex oh yes yeah you know where to find the fedex yeah there's one about 15 minutes from here oh you sent mail through them before and received mail yeah okay because that is the location that you would go to, and you're going to be doing an overnight express mail. A overnight express mail, they charge depending on the weight. Mm-hmm. So maybe to send that, uh, like the weight of that, maybe it's going to cost like a hundred and something dollars, as close to two hundred dollars. Okay, well, I can just take another that, uh, bill from under the bed. Right, you just take uh, the extra bill to take care of that because some places they take cash, some places you have to use like a debit or a credit card. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to be providing you with the address that that would be going to. All right. All right, so just hold okay, on, let me get, me get that here. address. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got one right here. 
So you don't think you have any regular envelope there that uh, that could fit in? No, it's not. It's just just it, this it. is this is a big wad of cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to package it in something there, though. Like uh, a yes, box I could put something. it in a in a shoebox. Yeah, in in one of those shoe boxes. I have actually, I actually have it? a slipper box. Like it's a little bit smaller than the than the shoe box, so it the this shoe would fit. Bo- right, this yeah. would fit perfectly, actually. You, yeah, so yeah, you're gonna so. fit it in that. Yeah. Here, just give me a moment. You get right, the address. Wait. I'll go get the box. Okay. All right. Oh goodness. Okay. That, that you fits, said, it you... fits like a glove. Look at that. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, so that shoe up, box I up. need for you. Yeah, you're going to tape it up. Yeah, tape it up. All right, okay. Yeah, I'm write this on okay. this piece of paper. The address. All right, so the address is 1548. Wonderful, that is correct. So now, right. here's what you're going to do. Right. Because this is the confidential part of it now. Remember, you're receiving $18.5 million, mm, but yes. no one needs to know. No one needs to know that you're a winner until your money is safely put in your account. When your money is in your account, then you can tell who you wish to tell, okay? Well, Jeremiah is going <laughs> to... <laughs> he's going to be he's going to be All right, so here's his balls. All right, no problem. Here's what you're going to do for me now, sweetie. When you go over to the FedEx, all right? Yeah. If they ask you what you're sending, what would you say? Uh, my taxes for my my winning with the publisher's clearinghouse. No, you wouldn't say that because at that time they would be asking you all sort of questions and they would want to know how much you have won and they're going to charge you extra to send off the mail. So you wouldn't tell them you're sending in your taxes for a winnings. You would just send, tell them that you're sending some documents to a relative of yours. Uh, uh, okay. All right. You just tell them you're sending a, a mail to a relative of yours. It's it's a gift. Are you telling that you're sending a birthday gift? Oh, okay. All right. Right? That's so you've got to remember now. It's an awfully now. big uh, birthday gift. Yes. Yes. You're sending Goodness. it to a... Who, who would get that's a if they should. $30,000 birthday they... gift? <laughs> Goodness <laughs> Well, that's gracious. the thing. That's the thing. You wouldn't let them know that it's cash you're sending, okay? You just or, let them know you're well, sending I, a gift. What do I say? that Because I have to insure it for... I'm going to have to insure it for, for 30000 No, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be safe and secure because the address that I gave you, it's actually going to a FedEx location, all right? It's going to a FedEx office. Oh, is it? Okay. Right. So you don't have to insure it for that amount. If they ask you if you need insurance, you could put like... 3000 on it or somewhere there, two or 3000 You don't want for them to become suspicious, okay? Okay. All right? All right. So uh, this phone this phone that I'm talking to you on, is this a home phone or is this your cell phone? Uh, this is my uh, my home phone. Okay, and do you have a cell phone? Uh, I do not, no. That you, oh, you do not have a cell phone no, that you take no. on the road with you? No, you're not allowed to oh, okay. uh, talk and drive. No, no, uh, most definitely not. <laughs> I see people well, doing know, it all like, the time. It's horrible. Those things right, are just those horrible. things are yes. causing deaths uh, left, right, and center. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that's so true. But you know, sometimes case in a if in case of an emergency, you know, you have a phone that you take with you. But anyhow, like I say, when you go down to the FedEx, you keep your business private. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes. All right, and repeat back the name and address that you're going to have the mail sent to. Wonderful. And you're doing a overnight express mail. Overnight express mail. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you say that the FedEx, how far away from you is the FedEx? Uh, about uh, 15 minutes. So it take me about, about 15... 35, 40 minutes to be back. Okay. All right. So do you want me to stay on the home phone or do you want to call me back when you get in? No, no. I, I want to hang up just in case somebody else wants to call and leave a message. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's true. All right. So that's what you're going to do. And do you see my phone number on your caller ID that you're going to call me back on? I have three two, the three two five four three nine thirty two hundred. That is correct. So write that number down. That's the number you're going to call me back on as soon as you get in. That's right. the number. 
for Mr. Jonathan Myers. All right. All right, so let's go over this one more time before you leave out. When you go by the FedEx, you let them know you want to do a overnight express mail. If they should ask you what you're sending, what would you say? Uh, my, the taxes for my uh, publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes winning. No, sweetheart, no. You're sending a gift to a relative of yeah. yours for his birthday. Yeah, okay. you got to remember, this is very yes. important. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. This part is very important. Sending a gift for your relative's birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And if you should ask you if you need insurance on it, remember you will put it at about two or three thousand dollar insurance. Okay. All right. Even even a thousand dollar is good enough because, like I say, it's gonna be secured because it's all boxed up and wrapped up. You have the tape on it. When you go there, well, just, you I, I've I've FedEx. lost things in in uh, in the mail before, and they've said, "Oh, you don't have insurance, so we only they only cover about a, a hundred dollars uh, if you don't right. if you don't have insurance." So it's like I I lost it was like three thousand dollars I lost. And I, I got a hundred dollars out of it. I said, "What the? This is this isn't even fair." I, I sent something under the pretense that it's going to arrive there, and they said they delivered right. it, but uh, something I don't know. But it should have been signed for. I said it should have been signed for, but they they didn't uh, they didn't bother to try to get a put signature it, apparently, oh. and they just put it somewhere, and well, somebody yes. must have you ran send off. It, with yeah, it. you. That's one thing you should do as well. You send it so it should be signed for. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. All right, so you're going to be sending it so it could be signed for. Yeah. All right, and when you go there, you tell them that you need a FedEx box. They yes. have the FedEx box there, so you're going to put your box inside the FedEx box, okay? All right, okay. Yeah, and remember now, if they should ask you, this is only if, if they should ask you, why you what you're sending, Mm-hmm. What you, do you say? Oh, well, I'm sending the taxes from my lottery for the uh, publisher's clearinghouse. Sweetheart, no. What? No. Remember, you're sending a gift to a relative of Oh, here. yes, yes, sir. If you should tell them that you're sending this for your lottery, they're going to want to charge you <coughs> over $5,000 to send the mail. Oh, cow. So I should probably take okay. another 5000 with me. No, Just no. In case. Listen. No, listen, listen, listen to me carefully, yeah. all right? Just tell them that if they should ask you what you're sending, you just tell them you're sending a gift for a relative of yours, yeah. all right? All right. That's all you need to remember, a gift for a relative of yours. Okay. Okay? All right, okay. That's, that's all you need to remember, sweetheart. You're a sending gift. a gift to a relative of yours. All right, a gift to... Oh, all right. All right. Yes, that's all you need to remember, sweetheart. Okay. Please remember that, okay? I'm counting relative. on you. I'm counting on you, sweetheart. So please remember, okay. write it down. A gift to a relative. A gift to a write relative. Write it down. Okay. Yes, remember right. that if they should ask uh, you, okay. sometimes they don't ask, all right? Okay. And you're sending a overnight express. All right. All right. Yes, and if they ask you, it's a FedEx office. Yeah. It's going to. Oh, it's going right to a FedEx office. Yes, a FedEx so, office. Oh, so there, there's somebody's going to come pick it up. Right. That's correct. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, are you all dressed and ready to be going out? Um, let me look. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm decent, I guess. Okay. <laughs> all right. I can't wait to see the beautiful smile on your face. <laughs> When my oh, delivery I'm, guys come to your home, I'm, I'm, so I'm please so remember. I'm so ecstatic the things you, that I'm going to do with this money. I'm telling you. Please oh, remember, goodness. sweetheart, you're sending a gift to a relative. Okay, if they should ask you. Oh, what? To who? A gift to a relative. I have to send something to a relative? No, if they should ask you at the FedEx oh. what you're sending. Oh. Okay. You tell right. them you're sending a gift yeah. to a relative, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah. remember now, you just right. take the paper with the address. All right. And when they ask you where it's going, you give them the address and the name, yeah. okay? Yeah, all right. All right. So call me when you get back home. So all you right. say I'll this will you. take you about 40 minutes, right? 
Uh, probably take around that. Yes, I would. I would think so. All right, and remember, sweetheart, keep your business private. Okay, I, yeah, I'm yeah. counting on you now, and I'm waiting from you. All right. Okay. All right. Bye bye for now. Okay. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye now. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan here. Before you left. Before you left out, I wanted to say congratulations to you once more and oh. welcome yourself on board. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, and, thank you. Thank you. And, thank you so and much. for the last time, if they should ask you why, right. what you're sending, what would yeah. you say? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sending a gift so they can pay for my, my sweepstake uh, tax. No, listen, sweetheart. I'm sending you're just a gift sending to a, a relative gift. to pay my tax. Yeah. No, listen, you're sending a gift to a relative. To don't pay say my taxes. anything about paying any taxes. Listen, sweetie, what? don't say anything about paying any taxes. Okay. Just tell them you're sending a gift to a relative, okay? Oh. Remember, you told me that you want to spite your husband. Yes, so yeah, you that son of a bitch sick. and that whore candy, yes. too. Yes, you're going to spite them all. But if you tell the FedEx that you're sending this for your taxes, you're not going to receive anything and you're not going to be able to spot your husband, okay? Uh, uh, all right. So you're sending a gift. Yes. Don't mention anything about any taxes, okay? All right. And if they don't ask you, you don't mention it. Okay. All right? So you're just, you just want to do an overnight express mail. Okay, overnight. If they ask you if you know the person, you say yes. Yeah, yeah, you know the yeah. person. It's going to. Yeah. All, right? All right. Don't say anything about any taxes. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'll wait to hear from you in forty-five minutes. I'll be I'll be nervous the whole time, counting right. on you. All right. Okay. All right. Bye for now. Bye now. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is John from FedEx. Okay. Yes, we had we just had a uh, a lady in here, uh, Linda. Uh, she uh, she dropped off a, and she sent a package. Uh, she put this number as the uh, as the recipient's phone number. I just want to make sure that you you were accepting a you were receiving a package. Yes, from uh, Miss Linda. Yeah, my name is Kamar Bennett. Your name is Kamar Bennett. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Kamar. Uh, she she mentioned to me that uh, she had to uh, uh, pay taxes on a uh, on some sort of uh, a winning and uh, I mean I I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos and and whatnot and I see uh, I see exactly this kind of thing happen uh, on there uh, people getting scammed uh, because I I know I know personally that uh, and I tried to tell her uh, that. Uh, uh, Publishers Clearinghouse doesn't ask for money up front, so I, I'm sitting here with a uh, a package, which feels pretty heavy, and it, apparently it's money. So I'm not sure what uh, I'm supposed to do here. Well, I'm supposed to receive a mail from her. For what is it for? Well, it's a gift that she's sending to me. It's box, right? Yeah, it's in the box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a gift in the box inside the box for me. Well, I mean, she said she told me that uh, she had won uh, a big some sort of big prize uh, with Publishers Clearinghouse well, and that she was paying taxes that. for that. So, I don't know about that part of it. And I know that as the Publishers Clearinghouse scam. So, so. Well, like I say, I don't know that part of it. So what, I, what I'm going to, what I'm probably going to, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, suggest you do is to look into our, um, our lost package policies and uh, why would I need to look in your lost just, package? Just uh, look look at our our lost package policies and uh, then you can go from I there. Why would I need to do that? Well, you already have the package to send. Oh, to it's me. it's why already it's already that? sent off, but who knows if it's going to get there? I mean, things what like do this. You mean who? What do you mean? Who knows? If anything goes wrong with that package, remember, I'm gonna file a lawsuit. Oh, I don't. That's that's fine. That that happens all the time. That's why insurance is there for you. There, we're we're not. Uh, when you send something, we're not right, listen, liable listen, for just, for something listen, in the mail. I'm just especially if it's uh, especially listen. if it's if it's cash. Listen, sir. Whatever your name is, I'm just gonna have my aunt come back down my here. My name is uh, and pick Mike. it up back, Mike. I'm just if if you don't want to have it mailed, I'm just gonna have my aunt come back and pick up the box. Okay, well I'm off in about a half an hour, so. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, you just got back. Yes, I did. Yeah. 
Yeah. I had to stop out in the market to get some stuff for supper. I was I was missing a couple of ingredients. Oh, oh. Hello? Yeah, did you get a receipt from FedEx? Uh, yes, yeah, I have one here. Yeah, what is the what is the tracking number on the receipt? Uh, well, it's not the receipt. He just, he wrote it down for me. Okay, yeah. Tell me the tell me the tracking number that's on it. Uh, it says there's a two letters U S and then nine four one two three nine five one four nine. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you there? I'm here, sweetie. I'm here. Right. I'm saying. At the at the FedEx, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're giving me something from a uh, post office there. The the letter and number that's from post office. You did something. This at is the post this is what he well? no. This is what he wrote down. Oh, he wrote down something from post office. No, it was a FedEx. So, all right, give me that. Give me give me that that what you were giving me just now. Nine four one two. Hold on. Start back with the letters first. U S nine four you one said, two three you said nine. US. Yeah, yes. U S. Do you get it that okay. time, dipshit? U S nine four one two three nine five one four nine one one zero zero two zero nine two. Three nine five one nine, no, sorry, four nine one one o o two o. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, do you see a tracking number on the receipt itself that starts with two seven six? I didn't get a receipt. You didn't get a receipt. No. Oh, you need the tracking number for. What? I can't. You're breaking up. I can't. I can hardly. You're like a robot. You're cutting in and out. So what did he do? He didn't give you a receipt. What did he do? Just write down this on a piece well, of he, paper he, gave, he, and give it. He put it all through the through the system, and then he said, "Oh yes." He said, "Oh, I, I need to give you your your uh, tracking number." And I said, "Yes," and then he wrote it down for me. Okay. Well, they're talking the to him for a little while. What did you say to him? Did you tell him that you were paying for your taxes or did you tell him it was a dish for your relative? Are you saying something? I can't hear you. What did you tell them? Why, what did you tell them was the purpose of you sending the mail? I said I needed to send it to somebody that's going to pay uh, taxes for, the, uh, for, for my, uh, my lottery. That's what you told them? Yes. Well, they called me, sweetheart. The FedEx, they called me because you gave them my phone number, correct? Uh, for the, it said a phone number for the, uh, for the recipient. So I, I put your, right, your number right, in. Right, right, right. But what they did, sweetheart, since they didn't give you a receipt, because you say they didn't give you a receipt, correct? Oh, he just wrote the, down the, the numbers to track it. Well, you were supposed to get a physical receipt with the tracking number on it. So because they didn't do that, what they did, they called me and they were telling me that they weren't going to send the mail off because they think it's a fraudulent deal. What? Yes, that's what the guy at FedEx called me and told me. And I told them that if they do anything wrong with your mail, I'm going to file a lawsuit on them. Well, what, he told he told me that uh, he he didn't want to send. I said I I want it sent. I said I, it doesn't matter. This is my personal business, and I need it sent. Well, he that's said, what he, he said, called okay. me and told me. That's what he called me and told me and told me that I should look into the lost and found because they have the they have the box down there. It's pretty heavy, and they know that it's cash inside. So he didn't send out the mail, sweetie. I'm sorry to say, but they called me. That's the reason why they didn't give you a receipt. He just gave you this number. This is not a receipt. You were supposed to get a receipt with a 12-digit tracking number on it. He didn't give that to you because he just 
scanned the package and gave you that number to show that, yes, he scanned it. So he Maybe did scan it right. and it is getting sent off? Yeah, oh, right. Okay, I he thought it wasn't going to get sent off. He scanned so it. So it's getting he sent off. Send it off. No, he didn't send it off. He didn't? He didn't? Yeah, he didn't send it. When That's is he sending why. it? No, they, they're they holding it down there at the FedEx location. Well, what? So you... You would have to go back there and pick up the box because what I'm going to oh, do, my I'm, listen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have an agent come to your home and pick up that box from you, okay? All right. So I need for you to go back down to the FedEx and tell them that you need your box. If they're not going to mail it, you need your box. All right. Well, they, All right, you need why your wouldn't, package. Why wouldn't they have called me? Because you gave them my number as the recipient. Well, my, my so number's on it as well. Yeah, but you remember, you weren't home. So even if yeah. they had called, you wouldn't get the call because I've been trying to call you. Your phone wasn't going to the voicemail. It seems as if your phone wasn't on the hook. No, it was on the hook. All right, so listen, I want for you to read me your address so that I can verify your address as well. Yep. Hello? Yeah, we got disconnected. No, we didn't. I hung up on you. Why did you hang up on me? Because I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't think that you're legitimate. I think. What are you the... talking about? Oh, well, I think Michael down there at the at the FedEx was, was right. Michael is not right, sweetie. Michael is trying to corrupt your mind. No, he he's said he said he's of... seen all of this stuff on. He said to go on to the YouTube, and he gave That's me what he told me. That's he gave me a, he told me he well. gave me a name to look up on on the YouTube, and I'm going to look it up. I want to listen to it, sweetheart. Sweetheart, that's what he told me. He's just trying to get you all twisted. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Why would he call me telling me that he he knows that this is fraud and he knows that it's cash you're sending? Did you tell him you were sending cash? Huh? I didn't say that I, it was cash specifically. That means Michael... That means Michael checked your box and he noticed it was cash inside. Well, and I need to go down there right now. I need to go get my box. Yes, you need to go down there and get your box and get back home. Yes. But right. before you leave, before you leave, sweetheart, repeat back your address to me. No, I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm going to get my box. And I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm sorry. Sweetheart. Hello? Is it... Uh, not till after I, I watch uh, some of these uh, YouTuber things. Miss Linda? Yes. You need to calm down and let's get this all straightened out for you. I understand that you're upset right now. He said I can look I'm up Publishers Clearinghouse Scam. Miss Linda. What if I look that up? Down. Hub. This Hello? Is, yes. Miss Linda, I need for you just to calm down scam. so that I can get this all straightened out for you, okay? If you receive Don't... an email, phone call, email, or letter from Publishers Clearinghouse saying that you're a big winner, it's easy to get excited yes. that you do yes. or agree things that make you vulnerable to money and identity theft. <sighs> Miss Linda, remember that you want to do this because your husband, he disrespected you. And you want to show him that you're worth more than what he thinks One, you're worth. PCH doesn't email or call its big winners. If you receive an email or a telephone call or a bulk mail letter saying that you've won a big prize from PCH, it's a scam. According to the PCH website... At PCH, winners of our major prize awards are notified live and in person by our famous prize patrol. They, they come to the door. It says right here. That's what I'm going to have my delivery guy to do. He's going to come right to your door. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, sweetheart. He's going to come right to your door to pick up the box. But you already called me. You, you come to I my door to, since PCH awards a steady range of prizes throughout the year at our options. We, we may are, notify remember, winners of lesser prizes me. amounts uh, overnight express carriers such as UPS, FedEx, or UPS. 
Sweetheart, remember, you called me this morning. I didn't call you. We do you not called... ask for bank account information. There is no processing fee, tax, or special handling charge required to win, and our prizes are delivered free of charge to the winners. You are a bunch of baloney. That's what you are. You're a bunch of damn baloney. Sweetheart. You're a bumbaclap baloney. You're a new brand Sweetheart. of baloney called bumbaclap baloney, listen, aren't you? Listen, sweetheart. Listen, you, you bumbaclap baloney. You called me You're the little morning. bumbaclap baloney. You're the one that left a message on my machine. And that's not how that it works. Correct. That's not how it works. Left, you don't do that. You don't do we that. Listen, we left the message on the machine. Yes, yes you didn't even have my and name in there. Well, I'm going to find the publisher's clearinghouse yes. main uh, uh, number from Linda. their website. You're a little dipshit bumbaclot. You don't understand that? Hmm? Do you? What did you say? I said you're a bumbaclot. Sweetheart, you don't need to be using curse words to the publisher's clearing house. Okay, Rasclat. I Clark. know you're upset. I know you're upset. I'm upset as well. Because that guy down there at the FedEx, he tried to get all in your business. And I warned you about that. I told you they would try to... No, I'm, I need to go get my that. money now. Goodbye. Yes, hello? 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 Yeah, how are you doing? I'm not doing too bad. Who's this? All right, you're talking to Mrs. Mary at this moment. Who the hell is Miss Mary? Oh, uh, we are the, the hell delivery do you want? team. We are the delivery team. I was wondering if you're home. Yes, I'm home. We suppose? Yeah, we supposed to come over with a prize here at this moment for you. We get stopped on the way by the uh we got stopped on the way by the FBI. So that's the reason why we are trying to call you right now to start out everything for you. Okay? Alright. So did you go down back the did you go down back to the FedEx? Did you go down back to the FedEx? How do you know that? Oh, because what happened they call us. They remember we're on the road but they called us and asked us what is going on. Yes, I've been to been back there. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, did uh, did you got back your back? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. So, at this moment now, we were just stopping at the gas station to get some gas so we could come over at your home. Okay. So you said that you have you're on your you're your in cash. Bed. Pardon? You're in cash now. That's correct. That's correct. So I wonder if you have on your favorite suit at this moment, because remember, today is your big day. Oh, yes. The good yeah. Lord himself. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all dressed, yeah. All right, because I want you to know that the good Lord himself <laughs> opened this gate here, have financial freedom for yeah, you, yeah. and nothing at all can stop you from receiving this prize package today, not even your husband, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Screw okay. that son of a bitch. That's correct. That's correct. So what I need you to do at this moment, I'm having your file pulled up here in system. So I just need you to just hold on to the line for me, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, it's still 30000 is in the box, correct? Yes, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So hold on to the line because like I said now, nothing can stop you from receiving the surprise today. Once we come over, you could call your husband and let your husband know to come over and then your husband could see this, okay? All right, okay. All righty. So just hold on to the line for me, okay? Okay. All right. All right, hello? Hello? All righty. So yeah. uh, what I want to... Yeah, what I wanted to ask you at this moment, you said that you still have the 30000 and remember that we're supposed to come over. So, would that be a problem for you that we have someone come over to take the, uh, the money from you for the taxes? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right. Okay, so you said that someone could come over, correct? Yeah. All righty. Okay, so what I want you to do at this moment uh, let I put on my glasses here. I would like you to provide me with your current address. Hold on, let I put on my glasses, okay? All right. All righty. Okay, so can you provide me with the address? Yeah, it's 52. Yeah. 19. Yeah. County Road, C-O-U-N-T-Y. 
R O A D. Yeah. Twenty two forty two. Yeah. Cash, Texas. Pardon? Well, uh, Greenville, Texas. G R E E N V I L L E, Texas. Seven five four zero two. Pardon? Seven five four zero two. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I, I have all a right. lo- I have a locked gate at, at the front, so if anybody comes, they have to call me. All right, and do 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 you have do you like do you have like a bot dog at home? Have a what? I hope that you doesn't have a bot dog at your home because remember that we're coming over. So if you have a dog, you chained up your dog, okay? Oh, he's always chained up, yeah. <coughs> all right, all right. And how do you pronounce your last name? Lilyhammer. Pardon? Lilyhammer. You said Lilyhammer. Yes. Can you spell it? L i l l y h a m m e r. All right. Okay. And your first name is Linda, correct? Linda. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, at this moment now, what we go to do? We're gonna have someone come over at your home to uh, right. to, uh to, to to get the package. Okay. All right. All right. So just hold on on the line. Okay, and uh, uh, and I do apologize. I'm so sorry for what happened at the FedEx today. Okay, I'm so I'm do apologize to you. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So just hold on on the line for me. You said did they did they pull your package and open it? Well, they said that they're not allowed to send cash. Okay. All right. So they gave you back your package, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just hold on. Hold on on the line for me. And like I said now, the good Lord opened this gate here for you, so nothing at all You can want me to open the gate? Receiving. What? No, what no, no, not yet. I will let you know. I will let oh. you know once you both open the gate. So just hold on, okay? All right. All right, hold on, the line. I'm getting another call here. Hello? 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 Yes? Well, on. All right, so you said that someone is calling you? Yes. And who is that calling you at this moment? I'm not sure. I'm just going to answer. Just give me a moment. Oh, listen. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, all right. So uh, I want, yeah, I want you to know that I don't need you to take any calls. Just a second. I'm going to take this call. Just a second. Just hold on a second. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes. I'm here. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, that's, that's you just, said something. I I have I'll have to call you back. This this is the sheriff. He needs to talk to me. Pardon? It's the sheriff. He needs to talk to me. You said the sheriff needs to the talk sheriff, to you. The sheriff needs to talk to me. Yes. Oh. And what? He told, he told me to hang sheriff? up the call with you. No, the sheriff. You said the. You said and why did you tell the sheriff that you you're on the line with uh the delivery? I team? said with the yeah. With the prize patrol. Oh my god, oh my god. Because listen, listen, sweetheart, because what? listen, we need to do this for you. You seem like you don't want to receive your prize. What are you talking about? Why, why do I seem that, that way? No, because remember, we're supposed to have this prize deliver at your home. Yes, yes. So well, I'm, I... the sheriff needs to talk to me. I, I need to, I, I, I'm not messing with the sheriff. He'll come and arrest me. Oh, 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 I understand. But just hold on on the line because we need some direction from you because we're coming over. So, uh, the shirt, you could call back the shirt. Okay? No, no, I t- I, he told me to hang up with you right now. So I need to hang and up what? with you. And then you're, li- you're going to let the shirt stop you from receiving your $18.5 million. No, why would today? I stop him? He needs just needs to talk to me about something. No, oh, he needs to talk to you. I understand that the sheriff needs to talk to you. Okay, All right, well, okay. I'm, I don't know what about, but... Oh, I understand. I understand, but I thought uh, the reason why the sheriff needs to talk to you is in pertain to the well, package that well, you... D- probably to- because I was trying to send cash, yeah. But I don't think yeah, it's illegal. Yeah. I don't think it's illegal. That's correct. That's correct. So uh, what I need you guys wouldn't to make me do call. something illegal. No, I will. I will never let you do something illegal. Remember, this is a multi-billionaire company you're talking to at this moment. All right. So you doesn't have nothing at all to worry about. You have one million dollars. Remember, 
18.5 million is supposed to get seven averaging oh are you talking what's going on here hello are you there yeah hello yeah i'm here oh okay i need to talk to the chef your your line is cutting up so just hang up and i'll call you back i have to talk to the chef hello yes yeah, how are you doing? Who's this? You're talking to Mrs. Mary at this moment. Can you hear me? I can hear you, bitch. What do you want? Why you call me a bitch? Because you're a bitch. What do you want? Let's, no, we. This is the tr- this is the delivery team. Delivery team for what? Well, you 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 coming and delivering me some uh, some pasta from down at the community center, you bitch? No, we have a price to deliver for you. From Publishers Clearinghouse. Can you calm down yourself? I don't know what you're talking we have about, no... bitch. Listen, we have a prize Listen, for bitch. you. I got a prize for you. And what prize is that? It's called a 12 gauge shotgun. Do you have, do you have, do you have a shotgun? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, and why would you want to use a shotgun on me? Because you're a bitch. And why? Listen, calm down yourself. No. I know you have something to do with candy. No, you're one of Candy's friends, aren't you? Little bitch, huh? Pardon? You Candy's friend? Yeah, I'm can I'm Candy's friend. Yeah, you're Candy's friend, you little bitch. I'll get both of you. Come and come and see me. Hello. Hello. Yeah. uh, Did did you finish talk to the sheriff? What? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Right. Okay, okay. So at this moment, like I said... Who now, the hell is this, we, bitch? You're talking to David Sawyer at this moment from Publishers Clearinghouse. This is the truck driver. Oh, so you told mother f- then. Yeah, pardon? I said mother f- then. And why would you say that? Because you're an asshole. I am not an asshole. Remember, you told me that uh, I need to take you in a date. Well, you're not taking That's me on a date. You're, yeah, you're, a, you're a fraudster. You're a fraudster. No, I'm not a fraudster. Listen, listen, I am not a fraudster, okay? Yes, you are. You're talking to a multi-billionaire company. We have been doing this here for over. Did you get back your mail from the FedEx? Yes, I did. Okay, that's to show you that we are, this is a legit company. And like I said, I have been, does remember, have, does I have to do with anything. Remember, remember, I told you to go back for your mail. I am the one that told you to go back for your mail. All right, I have been working here for yeah, over Yeah, because you wanted months. it. Because you want the money. Pardon? Because you want no, the money. No, no, no. You have won $18.5 million that we're supposed to come over with today, today for you. Then bring all it right? to me. That's, all, that's what we're supposed to do. Then do so it. So I, I just need you now to calm down yourself, scratch my back here, I'm and let I scratch you. yours. You're not touching me? No. Listen, I am a better person on your husband. I am the right one for you. No, you're not. My husband yeah, is the, the right, right one for me. For your husband is the right for one for you. My ex-husband. No, I am the right one. I could treat you. I could treat you better than your husband. No, you couldn't. You're just trying to take my money. What? Hello. All right. Hello. Yeah. No one here trying to take your money. I told you that you're coming over. You said that uh, I was supposed to let you know when you were coming. So I need you to calm down yourself now and listen what I have to say. Because, listen, you have millions of dollars. Peter! Peter! 18.5 million dollars, 7,000 per week per life, and a brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz car. Where's Peter? Who's that you're calling? Who's Peter, your dog? My f- no, my friend Peter. And where is your friend Peter? Where is your friend? Hello? What? Hello? Where is your friend Peter? Hey, don't worry about it. It's none of your business. Listen, you have won millions of dollars here. You have won millions of dollars here. And listen, you doesn't need to let anyone know. Just listen to know. this. You don't. Just listen. Go suck your mouth. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello? 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 Yeah, 
yeah, this is yeah, this is Sergeant Navigail contacting you from the untied fraud investigation. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Oh, good afternoon. I'm not doing too bad. How are you? Okay, I'm doing splendid. I'm doing splendid at this moment. <laughs> So what has been going on? Uh, I'm seen here where a prize was out to be delivered to you. What transpired there? What do you mean? A prize from Publishers Clearinghouse was scheduled to be delivered to you today. That was, that was a fraud? Who told you that was a fraud? You, you're, well, you're from the fraud division. I'm from the fraud division, and there was no fraud request sent in. So who could have told you that it was a fraud? Just You just did. I'm calling you from the fraud department because yeah. the prize wasn't delivered. Well, so I, I want to know. Uh, oh, I thought you were calling me that about the prize being fraud. No, the prize is not fraud. Why is, it, why, is it, why is the fraud division calling me? Because the prize wasn't delivered to you. What does that have to do with fraud? There's a cashier's check in your name. We see that it was scheduled to be delivered to you today, and the delivery didn't happen. I already sent out money. You sent out money to who? Uh, to the, uh, the Chris guy. The Chris guy? Yeah. You sent out money to the Chris guy. There was, there was, I see here, it's on record here where you went to FedEx and the mail you sent at FedEx, you had to go back for the mail. So what Chris guy did you send money to? Well, he called today and he said he needed it just to send out to a, uh, an account. An account? Yes. Which account was that? I don't because understand not, what's going on. I'm, no, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing that on the file. There's no Chris here that works for the clearinghouse, so I'm not seeing that on the file. What the hell am I how supposed money, to do? How, how much money did you send out to Chris? 60000 60000 Yes. Uh, and you sent that by, by wire transfer? Yeah. Yes. I need to go cancel it. If you don't know anybody named Chris? No. How did you send that money? I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. How did you send that money? By FedEx or... Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes? Ma'am? Yes, what I'm saying. How did you send that, I, that I don't money? Have to, I don't have time to talk to you right now. I need to uh, make, make sure my money is okay. What I'm saying, ma'am. I don't care what you're saying. I need you... to figure out my own uh, stuff, so don't call me back, please. How did you send the money? Don't That's call me I'm back. You. Don't call me back. Listen to me, lady. Oh, my goodness. I what just said you... don't call me back. I'm trying to use my phone. This is phone hijacking. Stop it. I need to use my phone. I need to call my bank. Okay. Hello? 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 Yes, this is the fraud department. Did you get a hold of the bank to stop the transaction? Uh, yes, yes, I did. It stopped. Okay, it stopped. Okay. Yes. So how much how much cash would you say you have at your home now? Oh, I still have a whole bunch under my, my bed. Because, listen, what I'm saying is, remember, we're going to have a agent come to your home and pick up the cash in person where you can see someone in person to show you that this is 100 percent legit okay all right please do that because i'll be waiting with my shotgun to blow your f head off all right that's what we're gonna do we're gonna send someone to your home to pick up the the money from you okay and i'll blow your f head off listen lady do you take this for a joke you're a f what are you talking about? Get off my phone, you're no fraud department. Hello? You're no fraud department. My bank said that you're no fraud department. That you're, you're one of the scammers. So get off my phone. You're... Hello? Yes, hello. This is Chris. What happened with the transaction? I'm seeing that the transaction has cancelled. Yes. 
Uh, Chris. Uh, Why did you cancel the transaction? Uh, because it, I was told that it was uh, uh, by a uh, publisher's clearinghouse that you did not work with them. You were told by who? By the publisher's clearinghouse that you were, did not work for them. Who called you and told you that? Who from publisher's clearinghouse? So what does it matter? Do you want to receive your prize or not, ma'am? Uh, you, I don't think you're going to uh, give me anything. And I found out that you don't have to pay anything. Ever. Miss Linda? Yes? Ma'am? Yes? Why are you acting like this? Uh, because you're a scammer. So you didn't you didn't do the transaction then? Hey, Bumbaclot, you batty boy. Hmm? You want to scam me, batty boy? Huh? Hello? Come on, scam me. No one is trying to scam you. Yeah, you can scam me. Scam me, Bounty Boy. Hmm? Rasclot. Are you are you huh? trying to be someone you're not? As someone I'm not. What do you mean? Are you trying are to you, be someone? Are you trying not? to be someone you're not, Bumbaclot? Huh? That's your curse word. Yeah, that's your curse word. You redneck. <laughs> I'm a redneck. Yeah, yeah. You're in, and you're a Jamaican. Poor little Jamaican. Hello, Linda. I'm not Linda. I want to speak to Linda. No, you're not speaking to Linda. Hello. It's just going to be me. What are you doing with Linda's phone? Linda had $30,000 uh, $30, in cash, so she's unconscious on the floor. I was just speaking to her. Is this the sheriff? No. Who are you, Peter? I'm Mike. You're Peter. You're not Mike. I'm Mike was Ma at the FedEx. Yeah, that's how I know that she had all the money. So you... So you're telling me that you went to Linda's home? Yeah. So you think that because you did what you did, do you think that you're going to get anything from her? I have cash here right now. You know how much cash is but under who, her bed? I don't even know how but much it's is under there. Like, it's not like you're going to get it. Why not? It's right here. Let me talk to Linda. You you're, not, you're not talking to Linda. Let me talk to him. Give me the phone. <laughs> Nope. Nope. You're not talking to her. Give me the phone. Just shut up, would you? Hello? Hello? You want to try to scam me? Hmm? Yeah. All right. Okay, where's the money? Linda? <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Hello, Linda? There's got to be like a quarter Hello? of a million dollars here. Hello? What the? Holy shit. <sighs> Hello, Linda. Uh, funny thing is, they're gonna they're gonna stick this on you. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hello. Linda's not around. Where is Linda? Linda's dead. Linda is dead. Linda is dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you you killed her. Quarter million dollars. Oh, you killed her for a quarter million dollars. Yeah. Then guess what? It's going to be put on you. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah. I just want to speak to Linda, though. Well, you can't. Sorry. All right. You're, you're not going to be there just forever. Wait, just so. wait. Huh? Yeah, she still she still has a pulse, so she's she still has a pulse. Yeah, so <laughs> she, I didn't kill her. So you're trying to you're trying to be funny. I see. Mm. You're trying to be funny, my friend. You might be able to talk to her someday again, but not Let today. me speak to Linda. No, you can speak to her I after she wakes up and I'm gone with the money. I can have, I can have the sheriff over there in like five minutes. Yeah, sure you do. Sure you can. You don't even know where we at, we're at. That's what you think. She lives like we're in, in the middle of nowhere. I already know that. It's dirt road to get to where she is. Yeah. It's all dirt trap right off the highway. Well, I need to go so collect, collect this money up, so you, you can call her later. Do whatever you want. You say you're going to collect up all the money? Yep. So you're not going to share it? Why would I share it? What are you going to give me? What do you want in return? Uh, you're in Jamaica. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can give me anything. You think I'm in Jamaica? Yeah, I know you're in Jamaica. I can hear oh, your voice. Okay, if that's, if that's what you assume. I can hear your voice. I'm not stupid. Voice doesn't say where you're at. Well, you can't you tell that I'm American? You called me a redneck. I can tell, I can tell that you're a redneck. <laughs> yeah, well, 
Exactly. Yeah, and because you're using Linda's phone, I know exactly where you are. Really? Where am I then? But you, you don't know where I am. Anyways, I got to go uh, pack up this money. Just put yeah, Linda on the phone. All right. You're yeah, trying to be Linda. done. Yeah, Linda. Yeah, let, when they wake up, Linda. Linda? Oh, she's not awake. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, what do you want? Oh, we have you in the recording, and I need you to know that. And remember, I know the FedEx that you work. <laughs> you want to play a game? You don't know who the hell I am. No, I know the FedEx that you work. And remember, so, there's a bunch told, of people that work told, there. There's a lot of people told, that work there. You, listen, you told Mrs. Linda your name. You don't remember you told Mrs. Linda your name? We change names all the time. We have, uh, we have a Jose uh, name tag. Oh, yeah. We have a Jose name tag that we we. I about yesterday I was Ho- yesterday I was Jose. Today I was Mike. Tomorrow I might be Peter. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm okay. Who's this? Good night. Who's this? You're talking to Michael Peterson at this moment. Uh, did your did your husband come over today? I don't know. Did your husband hit you or something today? I don't know. I just woke up. Um, uh, you just woke up? Yeah. So what happened to you? You did you go to sleep or something? I think so. So where is where is the where is the uh where is it? Where is the check for it? check and see if you still have the cash there at home? What cash? Pardon? What cash? You didn't remember about the uh, the mail that you were supposed to send today for the thirty thousand? Well, I already put that in the bank. You put it in the bank? Yeah. So how much you have inside of the bank? Uh, we got a headache. How much you have inside uh, of the bank? I don't know. I can't. I got a headache. I can't be on the phone right now all right you were saying something you said that you take the money to the bank today i said i can't be on the phone right now i have a headache oh you're having a headache did your husband hit you or something today i don't know why, why do you keep saying that <clears throat> my my husband i don't have a husband anymore yeah uh the guy that you divorced because i called your phone today and a guy answered what I call your phone today and, and some other guy answer your phone. No, you just called the wrong number or something. No, no, no. It's your number and I was asking, where are you? And that guy was saying that they, they, he saw your money that you have under the mattress. So um, You said something about my money under my mattress? That's what you're, That's what the guy said. I don't know what the guy was talking about. Oh, my God. But, uh, I, I got to go check. Oh, oh yeah, my head. Go I got to go check. I, I, I uh, ask you, do you still have the money or your husband take it? What the hell is it? What? Go t- t- screw off somewhere, would you? Listen. No, listen, you listen lady. to me. You listen to me, you, you little dipshit. You know you're moving like you're a crazy lady. Yeah, and you're a crazy dipshit. That's what you are. Stop saying that. Yeah, you're a crazy little Jamaican dipshit boy, aren't you? Speaking your patois. Huh? What, what are you talking about? What am what I talking, talking about? about? You little idiot. Where, where did you put the money? What? You're not getting it. Where did you put it? You're not getting it. Where did you put it? Up your ass. Listen, I'm your man. Where you're not you my man at all. You're nothing. You're not even a man. You're a little boy. Who told you that I am a little boy? You're a little boy, I can tell. You don't know what you're saying. No, oh, I do know what I'm saying, you little dipshit. You're talking to a 55-year-old man right now, mm-hmm. and you're calling me a baby? Yeah, and you know who you're talking to? Hmm? Do you know who you're yeah, talking to? Who, yeah, I know who I'm talking to. So, to somebody who's been f***ing <laughs> with you the whole time, you idiot. You're fucking with me the whole time? Yeah, I've been f***ing with you the whole time, you f***ing moron. How do you? I know you're an idiot, you know? Yeah? Really? I've yeah. Ta- I, I've talked before, so that makes you even more of an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. No, well, I've talked to you before. You talked to me before? Yeah, yeah. And when did you, when did you talk to me? That was a couple of weeks ago. You talked to me a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Oh.
Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, vote out. You have been by